Hi, welcome to Ace News. I'm your host, Nikon Razi. And to get things kicked off, we're going to go to Vicente with Sports News. Thank you, Nikon. Hello, everyone. I'm Vicente Gutierrez from Ace Sports News, bringing to you live from the hallway in Ace Charter High. We're going to be talking about, yes, Vin Scully. Now it is time for Dodger Baseball. Vin Scully, at the age of 88 years old, is now retiring because he feels like it is too tiring now to be the commentator. What will we do without him? He started at the early age of 22 years old at the official Brooklyn Dodger Stadium with Jackie Robinson there at the time in the 1940s. So it is a sad loss yet for the Dodgers because from the time of Jackie Robinson, he was there commentating on his game, seeing all the racism towards him and himself. And Scully at his time was the best commentator in history and is the longest lasting announcer on any sports team in history not of basketball or football but of baseball now he's going to retire with his billions and billions of dollars and now i wish i had his bank account this is the a sports news vicente contreras reporting to you live back to you nikon and now we're going to go to mrs moreno with some information about the span field trip and other field trips that will be taking place Hi, Nikon. Yes, in nine months, I'm going to be heading to Spain with seven of our ACE students. Uh, we're going to museums, to uh, cathedrals, we're going to see flamenco shows. We're going to have a great time and be immersed in Spanish culture and language. And then in 2018, Miss Sally and I are arranging a trip to Costa Rica, which is a little bit closer, but we'll still be immersed in culture and language. We're visiting cloud forests, um, volcanoes. We're doing whitewater rafting and zip lining in Costa Rica. So I hope you can join us October 11th at 6 p.m. in my room for an informational meeting on Costa Rica. For more information, please see me. Thank you, Mrs. Moreno. We're going to go to the robotics news with Isaac. Hi, I'm Isaac. Recently, the Robotics Club had a mandatory meeting about a promo that was just released for the Robotics Competition. The Robotics Club has theorized about this to say that we may have to build a drone to fly or a car that could carry coal to a blimp that'll take us somewhere. That's all in Robotics News. I'm Isaac. Back to you, Nikon. Awesome. Sounds cool. Did I hear you say drone, Isaac? It's pretty interesting. Can't wait to see what happens in the end of the Robotics Competition. And we're going to go now to a 5-for-5 five five with Mr. John Middleton. I went to Cambridge and the University of Southern California. I was a tuba player in the USC marching band, where I marched in three rose parades and one national championship game. I've been cycling for over eight years, and I've raced competitively. I am Mr. Middleton. <laughs> I am Mr. Middleton. I am a social science teacher and the PE teacher here at ACE Charter High School. I started at ACE shortly after we opened during our original year. In uh, 2007, when I, I finished Cambridge, um, I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to do with my history degree. And my father really wanted me to go to law school um, because growing up, he he didn't have a lot of money. Uh, my grandmother was a, uh, a field laborer. She was a cotton picker in the Central Valley, just outside of Bakersfield. Um, she didn't finish the fourth grade. So my, my father was, was very, very poor growing up uh, as, a, as a field worker's kid. Um, but through his education, he, he made it. Um, and when I was done with school, my, my father really wanted me to go to law school and live his dreams. Um, but I, I, I signed up for the LSAT, and I was all ready to go on the day of, of, of my LSAT test. I decided it just wasn't me, um, and I didn't take that test, and instead I just signed up for a teaching school at USC. I went back to USC in South Central, and I became a teacher, following my original passion uh, that I, I found in high school, which was history. I had two really inspiring teachers in, in high school. Mr. Beck and Mr. Flint, and they were both history teachers. I love them to death, and uh, and now I'm 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 one of them. I guess I've I've kind of come full circle in in my life. Each morning when I wake up, I know that I'm contributing to uh, each one of my students' abilities to 
to become active members of our society and, and contribute and, and make our country um, truly great. You know, if, if you want to make America great, you make a gr America great by making sure that every single one of our kids in this country receives a first class education, an education that's going to allow them to uh, achieve all of their dreams and aspirations. Without education, our country will fail. That's why I teach. ACE is a school where we can prepare kids to be poetry and history majors, to be engineers, to be doctors, to be dentists. At the same time, we can prepare kids to be union members, to be skilled craftsmen, uh, to be electrical workers, to be plumbers. My grandfather was a, a, a electrician for the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power. And when I, when I meet um, folks like our board president, Tony Skinner, I, I see an opportunity for a lot of our kids that I feel our society has, has forgotten. Where we're going, you know, the sky's the limit. We're now right behind Cam High in our test scores. Um, and that's, that's not a result of me, that's a result of, of all of our kids and our principal and our counselor and the parents that we have. Um, so I think of, of nothing but, but the best for ACE. I look forward to having three English teachers, three social science teachers, multiple construction teachers, multiple architecture teachers, three, 400 kids on this campus, even potentially moving campuses. I, I, all of that is a possibility at ACE. We're gonna be in an international baccalaureate school next year. We're thinking from a global perspective about things now. Um, we're, we're doing education right, and where we're going now, um, the sky's the limit. Tomorrow is, is not important. What happened yesterday is not important. Um, but each day when we wake up, we're, we're born anew. And so from that, what we do today, today truly matters the most in life. Life is, is short, hard, and brutal, but it can also be incredibly powerful, and we're capable of so much compassion. If we treat each day like it's the most important day of our life, if we treat each moment like it's a gift, then individually we can be special creatures. That's the advice that I would give to, to anyone and everyone. Now with the ASB News, we're going to go to Levi, Jessica, and Joseph Meeks. Thank you, Nikon. We got another news with uh, ASB. Tell us about it, Levi. So we're going to have a senior meeting in Renteria's class during lunch on October 5th. It's going to be next week on Wednesday. Make sure to come by. We're going to be planning grad night, and we're going to be planning uh, hoodies that you can buy to, re to represent your senior class. Thanks, Levi. Back to you, Nikon. Thanks, guys. Now we're going to go to Tyler Cobb. On Wednesday, September 21st, 2016, around 6.20 a.m. on Highway 246, a Ventura County Fire Department water tender rolled over multiple times while driving to assist the canyon fire. Inside, there were two Ventura County firefighters, one of which was engineer Ryan Osler, who was a passenger. When the piece of apparatus rolled, he became trapped and died. Ryan Osler has 18 years under his belt in the fire service, a wife and two children. I'm Tyler Cobb. Back to you, Nikon. Thank you, Tyler. On to tech news. DJI released the Mavic. This Mavic is a lot smaller. It can be folded up to about this size. And what's great about this is that you don't have to have a huge box or tools or anything else to transport this device. I mean, now you're able to go on a hike and take videos of it, take awesome 4K videos with a drone. That's something that wasn't available a couple years ago. I mean, now you don't need a big box, and that's a huge deal. It weighs considerably less and can fit in any size backpack. I mean, it can even fit in a large pocket. And this is really where drones are going to be heading in the next few years. This is the future, and the future is getting smaller and more usable and more portable. Let's go to Mr. Clausey. I'm Mr. Clausey, and this is a segment called, What Are You Doing? D. Wayne, what are you doing? I'm working. Alan, what are you doing? I'm working. 
Johnny, why? What are you doing? Hello, Mr. Clausy. I series six, six, six volt batteries to make this motor run for Alan's motorized longboard. Mr. Cooney, yes. what are these kids doing? Nothing. Thank you, Mr. Clausy. Now we're gonna go to a little short video. That cold dawn morning. When you feel tired, when you feel finished, when you wish that this day was over before this day began. Feeling restless, sleepy, unmotivated, and unwilling to do whatever it is that you have to do. Look, no one said it's gonna be easy. No one said it's gonna get any easier down the road. It's not. As you get older, you're gonna have more responsibilities. You can have more stuff on your list. And it can seem tiring at times and a little too much, but you can't let it bring you down. Instead, what you have to do is think of a time that you felt good. Imagine that you're there. Let that joy hit you and make you feel great. Let it make you smile. Look, how you view life and your perception of things is a really big deal. You can either look at life as a big to-do list or as a big adventure. Nikon Razi, Ace News. Barbara Streisand. Hello, everyone. Oh, I forgot to say thank you, Nikon. Where are we going? We're going now. Thank you. Yo, yo, yo. What are you doing? I'm on the phone. What are you? Oh. Ace News. Hey. Hey. Nikon. Hey. 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 Hey.